So you've picked up a 5.3, a 4.8, 6 liter, or even a 6.2 out of the junkyard for a swap. It came with partial of an accessory drive and you're trying to figure out what thermostat works in what water pump. My name is Nick with Skog and Dickey. Thank you for joining us for another one of our weekly tech videos. Today, we're gonna to be covering a topic that I'm kind of surprised there's not that much information about. Now, over the years, GM has changed the thermostat housings and the thermostats for all the LS water pumps from the 97 LS1 to today. But over those years, they changed them in ways that are kind of hard to understand. And for the longest time, I could have sworn there was a chart online that showed that information on how to identify your thermostat housing, your water pump to make sure you get the right one. This is a big deal to make sure you get the correct thermostat and housing to match the water pump you have. And it's actually not as cut as dry as we wish it was. You can end up with leaks. You can actually end up with a couple of weird cooling issues that we've had customers ask about over the years. Now I will say from time to time, a few times a week, we do get a phone call about this question. And once again, I could have sworn this information was online. Everybody likes to learn and share as they're building cars and they're building engines. And I'll be honest, I actually searched for a few days and I couldn't find it. And we finally had a customer that sent us a message via Facebook and asked specifically how to identify each one. So here we are. Now let's start off with the first one. From about 97 to 03, there was this kind of thermostat and thermostat housing. It was integrated, it was one piece. I can't remove this unless I wanna uh, really ruin my fingernails on my thumbs because I actually tried it at my desk. But this thermostat housing specifically was made from about 97 to uh, roughly 03. And I say that because they actually did change in kind of leap years. There was a new one that came out in about 03 and this one was used till about 03 or sometimes even 04. So it makes it harder to identify. Of course, it was used in trucks, LS1, LS6, stuff like that. You actually probably are not really looking for this thermostat as much anymore. Beginning in 2005, if you ordered a new AC Doco or GM factory replacement water pump, it no longer came as the early style. It came as, a, as what they call the LS2 style, the, the later style. And the aftermarket followed suit just a few years later. So there's a good chance this isn't for you but if there is, of course, we have the options here. The next one in line is the one that I have right here next to me. This is an actual, uh, an actual AC Doco LS2 water pump for what you'd find for like an 05 Corvette. And this was a thermostat housing for it. And of course it went back to kind of what, if you worked on small blocks or big blocks, this is kind of more what we're used to. The thermostat actually comes out of this. It uses a nice molded rubber gasket, very simple machined aluminum housing, real basic stuff here but it changed. The actual opening for the thermostat housing changed, the bolt spacing changed, and the depth, what this little disc at the bottom, on the bottom of these changed too between these three versions. And it's very special that you get this right or you end up with some cooling issues. Now they use this version, like I said, they kind of introduced about 03 and a couple special vehicles, but it's mostly 04 to 08 or 09. Now, there came the third version. We called this the LS3 version. We use these terms loosely. You know, we called this one the LS1, this the LS2, and this the LS3. It's just a nickname to kind of categorize them. But they were used in trucks. They were used in GTOs or Cadillacs. And, you know, of course, the LS1 and LS2 and LS3 and the Corvette and the Camaros. But much of the same style when they went to the LS3. Same kind of looks honestly very similar i'll admit if you can't see it i actually had to write ls2 and 3 on these because visually it kind of takes a moment to catch which one is which but it looks very similar but again compared to the ls2 thermostat the depth is different and that does matter and it fits in differently too the opening inside of these thermostat housings are different as well once the LS went out of production in factory vehicles and went to the LT versions, it got a whole lot simpler. You can see this here, kind of looks like a ray gun. And it uses the cartridge style thermostat. You remove this housing here and the thermostat fits in there. Kind of similar to the LS1 housing, but all the LT cars came like this 2014 and up. And the trucks did too, but I'll go ahead and let you on a little secret. In some research I found, it looks like in 2019 and 2020, 
they actually went back to the LS3 style thermostat in some of the trucks. So keep that in mind. If you have a plastic housing Gen 5 engine, you're going to use an LT style thermostat like our um, SD160 LT1 for the 160 or of course the 180 LT1 for the 180. But if you have an aluminum housing LT engine in one of the newer trucks, you're actually going to go back and use one of the older LS3 style. Pretty, pretty surprising actually that GM went back to it, but it makes a lot of sense. This is just the easiest way to do it. Now I've written all the numbers here on the whiteboard. Let's take a look here, kind of easier to explain. As you can see here, I tried my best to make a chart to kind of differentiate the differences between, you know, the early LS1 style thermostat, the mid-year LS2 style thermostat, and of course the kind of 09, 08, and plus LS3 style thermostat. All these measurements, as you can see, are actually very similar to each other. The bolt spacing on the two bolt pattern for the housing is very similar between them except for the LS3. The big one, the easiest one for y'all to measure to make sure you're getting the right one is the water pump opening diameter either two and a sixteenth of an inch for the early style, an inch and seven eighths for the LS2 style, and an inch and five sixteenths for the LS3 style. Again, very, very close, but it does make a difference. As you can see, they have different depths on that housing where that bottom disc seats. And that is where a lot of customers have tried to use a different thermostat or thermostat housing. They mix up their stuff. They're just not aware of what they have, and they end up with cooling issues. That's, that stuff does have a function, you can't bypass it, you can't get away around it, you have to make sure it all works together. The cooling systems on the factory LS engines are great, so there's no reason to really modify them, but you do have to make sure that they all work together. And sadly, there's no indicators on the water pumps to tell you what kind of pump you have. It might tell you that it came off of a Corvette or it might have like, you know, truck belt spacing, you know, we've all heard of that, but this is different. This is how the thermostat and thermostat housing fit into the water pump itself. So this right here is gonna be your best indicator on getting this stuff matched up. So you don't have to call this when you get your project car running and it starts overheating or causing even weirder cooling issues that we've heard of. We really appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. Again, we do these every week, so we appreciate a like, a subscribe, and a share on both Facebook and YouTube. Spread as much of this information as possible. Again, the reason I did this is because of one of y'all's questions. I appreciate that very much. And I wanted to get this information out there. Like I said, I could have sworn this is something we could have found online, but I really couldn't find it collected in one simple place like a chart like this. Appreciate you guys stopping by. See you next week.